What's up guys, Savage Gamer here, and first I just want to say, it feels good to be back. This is the first video I've made in quite a long while, and for various reasons, uh, the biggest being I bought myself a Honda Fireblade. I've been having a lot of fun. You guys say touch grass, I say hit the pavement and have some fun, you know, pulling back on some throttle and getting a little bit of throttle therapy in. Uh, so that's kind of what I've been doing as well as my work hours have increased substantially So I've been pretty busy in the CNC shop uh, On top of that, you know uh, we'll, we'll get into other reasons why I haven't made too much content But what I'm here to talk about is PlayStation VR 2 And why it feels like it's dying It feels like it's on, you know, that last leg before it just fizzles out and that's really upsetting to me i love psvr2 i think this is a brilliant piece of tech that's been for the most part heavily underutilized as well as underappreciated uh and with so many mainstream game reviewers and tech reviewers just kind of shitting on it from the get-go it probably didn't help things as well as it's a pretty substantial expense i mean we're not talking just 600 for the headset we're also talking 500 for the ps5 on top of that as well as purchasing games as well as paying for ps plus i mean there's a lot entailed into affording this particular ecosystem but it's well worth it in my honest opinion but here's the problem these are some reasons why i've thought psvr2 is kind of on a downward trend unfortunately and i hate to say that but we've got to face facts and yes a lot of this is coming from astrobot debacle uh which is fucking retarded i mean astrobot was born in vr it was a vr exclusive thing and then ps5 comes out and we kind of introduced them to that and a lot of people are like why isn't this in vr now myself i was thinking it's flat now to kind of show people what astro is all about right but they're also putting out a psvr2 here soon and i guarantee they're gonna hit a psvr2 astro and everybody who played the flat version is gonna be like oh i gotta check this out in vr now and buy a headset for it or at the very least make it a hybrid title so people on psvr and people playing flat can both enjoy this brilliant game by team asabi it, it's a i mean astrobot is magnificent and i have nothing against it this was all sony's doing but that's not where i thought the problems lay and on top of that it kind of pisses me off that not only did we not get astrobot for psvr2 when we've all been fucking waiting for it but they didn't even port rescue mission on the psvr2 they could have put a small bit of development and said hey here's this new astrobot exclusive for the ps5 but we know you guys in vr have been really wanting it we thank you for your patience we at least did this here's rescue mission on psvr2 better graphics and fidelity and haptics enjoy it guys you know that would have been fucking awesome i would have been happy with that even if i had to buy it again i would have been happy with it i wouldn't even care if it was a free upgrade or not they didn't give a shit and that sucks and that was kind of like the final nail in the coffin for me personally the first nail in the coffin for me was hearing that uh it's going pc vr what five six months ago there's rumors and i was like if they do that if that's seriously a consideration it's because sony wants to wash their hands of it and i mean i hate to say i might be right on that you know why else put it out to you know be used on pc you know when it's something you need a ps5 to play on uh unless you just are don't want to develop games for it anymore and that's where my mind went there but i was kind of holding out hope all right whatever maybe they just want to help sell more headsets i'm sure sony will keep working on it the real issue arise to me and and i've talked with other friends in the uh vr gaming community out here that can verify this but i i said to one of them uh as soon as jim ryan left i said well this was his baby so psvr2 is gonna die they're gonna let it die i don't know who this new guy is stepping in but Jim Ryan was the push, the sole push for PSVR 2 to work. And without him there at the helm, there's nobody pushing for that. Now it's just analytics. There's nobody saying, no, VR is the next big thing. We're going to stick to it. We're going to make this work. We're going to put hybrid titles out. 
we're gonna you know consolidate this into that and we're gonna do what we can to ensure that playstation vr is where it's at we're, we're gonna battle against meta right and jim ryan left so i guarantee there's nobody making that push anymore and it's been solely left up to indie developers and capcom for the most part which yes sony did pay to have capcom do that but uh, who knows how long ago that could have been before psvr even dropped anyway um yeah that's all this was about man i really hope i don't see this go anytime soon i really do love my psvr too and even though i haven't made a lot of videos it's because honestly man besides having my bike and going to work and being a single father there's just not a lot of games that excite me and i'm not getting game codes and no one's giving me review codes it's fucking expensive so if i gotta buy games say like madison well i'm buying the physical i'm sick of fucking digital only shit so if there's a physical option i'm buying that i still am waiting for my physical i pre-ordered it it's still not out yet so you know that's why there's no review for madison or anything i mean if i'm not getting codes at this point i don't want to waste my time reviewing shit i guess and also i bought a quest 3 and i've been really enjoying it a lot to be honest with you guys uh it's pretty fucking cool so that's why i haven't made a whole lot of videos i plan to make some in the future and if you're watching this this is ancient dungeon absolutely love this game but anyway, give me your thoughts. Where's PSVR 2 at? Let me know. Until next time, have fun. Stay savage. Keep gaming.